everyone. Welcome back to Super Good Biz. Uh, today, uh, it's just me. Um, sorry, but um, I figured I would talk a little bit to you about how I define um, using business for social change and my point of view on using business for good and to create social change because there's a lot of podcasts and great blogs out there that are talking about businesses um, doing good. But what I'm trying to focus on here and, you know, this is a journey, so it might evolve. But at the moment, what I really want to share with you guys is you all, excuse me, is that my point of view on social change is oftentimes driven by those that inspire me most. And the ones that are inspiring me most are the ones that are truly using business to move the needle around a social issue. Um, before I get into what I define as a super good biz, I figured criteria would help so you all understand where I'm coming from. Um, I'd read to you a quote that I saw on the Skoll Foundation website. And Skoll Foundation is a foundation that invests in social entrepreneurs around the world. And it's a great website if you're looking to get interested in it. So let me quickly read to you what they wrote because this, I was like, yes, this is like what I'm talking about. So many social entrepreneurs take a systemic approach to solving societal issues. We've begun to call them systems orchestrators at school. Think of this as society's R&D lab. They work to change policies, practices, power dynamics, social norms, or mindsets that currently hinder progress. Um, and they've also built trust-based, proximate relationships with the vulnerable communities that inequitable systems fail to serve. Um, so that's kind of what I'm getting at here is those people who aren't just using business to make a positive impact, but to actually change the system, because I think that's right. Okay, so now that I've shared that quote, I'd love to kind of define what that looks like and the types of companies I'm looking for and want to speak with. So, um, you know, instead of looking at a company that has like a CSR model or is, uh, has an arm that donates to nonprofits, I'm interested in looking at companies where it's built into the business model. The social change that they're creating is built into whatever the product or service they are providing and the consumer who is purchasing it. So it's not something that's added or an afterthought. It's something that's built into the business model because um, that's that requires innovation and that's super interesting. And that shows like how business can run in the future. The second thing is um, talking about the solution you're providing, it, it probably, the impact that you're creating does probably solve some sort of problem, but oftentimes it might be the symptom of the root of the problem. And what I'm interested in and looking for is the root of the problem. How does this business start to address things that are at the root and are addressing elements of the systemic problem? Um, so I think that's a really important distinction to talk about too. Um, adding to that, I think there's solutions and businesses that are doing it, the impact they're creating is a little bit more short term and momentary, um, rather than solutions that are long term and chipping away at that longer systemic problem. Because it's a, if it's a systemic problem, it's going to take a long time and you have to chip away at it. It doesn't happen in one go. Um, and um, it also has the cyclical impact. It's something that keeps going and it can continuously live on um, rather than it being like a one-time impact. So that's another way I'm thinking about it. And um, the last thing that I thought um, was a nice positive note to end on is helping people survive a specific problem, like helping them get through something is one type of positive impact. But I really love when businesses are doing the work that they're doing, trying to address all the things we talked about, the systemic problem, trying to kind of create a more just and equitable society. And so that what that looks like is helping people thrive, helping the planet thrive, helping communities thrive, rather than just get through and just survive and make it to a good place. It's about helping them thrive. Um, and so it's a difference almost between making a difference versus making that change. Uh, making a positive impact can cover all of them, but what I'm thinking about is the specific part of positive impact that's about creating social change. And that's why I kind of keep saying and reiterating super good biz is about 
using business or social change and interviewing people who are doing that to inspire all of us and helping us see what the future of business can be. So I hope you liked that explanation. I hope that was clear and you liked my criteria. Um, Vanna White hands over here. Um, and I will link that, um, the school website that you can check out if you would like. Okay, thanks. See you soon. Bye.